Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with a new chapter, compound interest, and that too without using formula. Now we very well know that interest is the amount which we pay as an additional amount when we borrow some money from other, and it may be the amount which we get when we lend some uh, lend some amount to anyone. We have studied about the simple interest in our previous classes, and here we have got a compound interest. Now, very first of all, let's see what is the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest. Here, for illustration, we have taken a case in which the principal is one thousand rupees, rate is ten percent, and the time is three years. Now, very first of all, we are going to find the simple interest and then the compound interest. Now, in case of simple interest for first year. principal will be rupees 1000 and we are going to find the interest on it interest will be p into r into t by 100 and that is 1000 into rate we are having 10 into 1 because this interest is for the first year and that is one year so we have multiplied 1 in place of Time upon hundred, cancel it out. We got hundred, and then amount will be one thousand plus hundred. That is eleven hundred. Now for the second year again, the principal will be the same what we were having in the first year. That is one thousand rupees. So the principal is rupees one thousand. and then we are again going to calculate the interest and the amount here amount will be this 1100 plus this interest that is that is rupees 1200 now for the third year principal is again 1000 rupees then interest interest we have got 100 rupees again and then the amount equals to 1200 plus 100 that is 1300 now we'll go for the uh, si and si we have got 300 now we'll go for the calculation of compound interest in case of the compound interest the first year calculation is same as we are having in the simple interest and we get interest as 100 rupees and the amount as 1100 rupees but in the second year the value of principal is not taken as this but we take the amount the amount which is at the last of the first year will be taken as the interest as the principal for the second year so here we get principal as 1100 rupees and we are going to find the interest on this 1100 now at the end of second year we have got the amount as 1210 which was in case of simple interest was 1200 rupees here we are having 1210 now for the third year we are going to take this one as a principal and here at last we have got the interest as 121 and the amount as 100 One thousand three hundred and thirty-one. Now the compound interest will be now the compound interest we have got as three hundred and thirty-one. Here we see the simple interest we have got only three hundred, but here we are having three hundred and thirty-one, and this is because the amount was changing as a principal in each successive years, and here the principal was fixed for the each years. Now let's start with the exercise. Now let's see question number two, second part. of the chapter of the exercise 2a here the question is to calculate the amount and the compound interest on rupees 8000 in 2 and a half years at 8% per annum here is principal 8000 time 2 and a half year and the rate 15% so we are going to start with the first year principal we are having 8000 now the interest interest as 1200 interest as 1200 and the amount we get as 9200 now let's go for the second year here the principal we have got as 9200 which was the amount in the previous year here we get the interest as 1380 now the amount now after getting the interest uh, amount of the second year we have to calculate the 
interest for the half year. So here we are going to write for the last half year. Principally we are going to take this number only and then the interest. In case of the interest, in place of 1, we are going to write 1 by 2 because this was the calculation for the one year. This was the for the first year, this whole complete first year, this was the whole complete second year and then here we are just going for the half year. So we in place of 1 we will be writing only 1 by 2. Here we got it. Now let's solve it and here we get the interest as 793.50 and we get the amount by adding the principal principal with the interest and we get this much as the amount at the end. Now to get the compound interest we subtract the amount by the actual principal which we are having in the question and then we have got the compound interest as 3373.50. Now let's see the third question. Here in this question you have to calculate the amount and the compound interest on 16,000 in 3 years when the rates of interest for the successive years are 10%, 14% and 15% respectively. Here we got the principal time 3 years and the 3 different rates for the different years. Now let's start with the first year. Principal we have 16,000 and the rate 10,000, 10%. On calculating the interest we have got as 1600. Now the amount and here we get the amount at the end of the first year. Now I'll go for the second year. For the second year, this will become the principal and the rate will be 14%. Now we are going to calculate the interest. Here we get the interest as 2464 and then amount. Here we get the amount as 20,064 rupees. Now we'll go for the third year. Now for the third question, here we are having the principal and the rate. Now the interest we are going to calculate. Here we get the interest as 3009.60. Now the amount. Now by adding the interest we get the amount as this much. Now we will go for the compound interest. And here we get the amount as amount and the compound interest for this question. Now let's see question number 6. Here in this question uh, A borrows rupees 12, uh, 2500 from B at 12% per annum compound interest. After 2 years A gave rupees 2936 and a watch to B to clear the account. Find the cost of the watch. Here the principal is 2500, rate is 12% and the time is 2 years. For first year principal is 2500 and the interest will be rupees 300. Now the amount we get as 2800. Now we'll go for the second year. Here the principal is 2800 and the interest as rupees 336. Now the amount. Now at the end of second year he is liable to pay 3136 as the value he which we, he have taken a as a borrow which he has borrowed. Now he is paying this money with rupees 2936 along with a watch and we have to find the value of that watch. So according to question this is the amount which he have to pay and this is the amount which he have paid. So we are going to find the difference of these two to get the value or the cost of the watch. And here we get the value as rupees 200. Now let's see the eighth question. Here in question number eight, Meenal lent rupees 75,000 at CI for three years. And if the rate of interest for the first two years is 15% and for that of the third year is 16%, calculate the sum Meenal will get at the end of the third year. Here we are having the values of principal time and rate. Now will we will start with the first year. Here we get the interest and the amount. Now we will go for the second year. Here we got the principal as this value and the rate as this one because the second year also we are having the same rate of interest as it was for the first year. Now we will calculate the interest and the amount. 
Now here we get the interest as 12,937.50 and the amount as 99,187.50. Now we will take the for the third year. Here in the third year, the principal will be this value only, but the rate will be 16% per annum. Here we get, now we will calculate the interest and the amount. And here we get the amount which uh, at the end of the third year. So, Meaner will get 1,15,057.50 rupees at the end of third year. Here in this question, Govind borrows 18,000 rupees at 10% per annum at simple interest. He is taking the amount at the simple interest and then he immediately invests the money borrowed at 10% compound interest compounded half yearly. Now, how much money does the Govind gain in one year? So, very first of all, we are going to find the simple interest for one year. And here we get the simple interest for the one year as 1800 rupees. Now, we will go for the compound interest and that to compound it half yearly. Now, when the interest is compounded half yearly, we will just calculate the interest in a six month that is in a half year. So for the first half year, principal we have 18,000 and the interest and here we get the interest as 900. Now we will calculate the amount and we get 18,900 and this 18,900 will become the principal for the second half year. Now we will calculate the interest and here we got the interest as 945 and we get amount as 19,845. Now we will find the compound interest and here we get 18, 1845 rupees. So, he uh, so Govind gained rupees rupees 45 at the end of the first year. That's all from this video. Thank you.